Okay, so I would like to just tell you the basic differences and cons and pros of the LiPo 4 batteries and just a regular acid, lead acid battery. And I know there is a lot of you wondering which one is better and which one to use. Yeah, because I was there not long time ago. Okay, I bought four of these. This is the deep cycle version and this one is actually 75 amp hours but I bought four of these uh, batteries which was eight I mean 100 amp hour each okay and they cost me about probably four of those cost me about 680 dollars so one of them was about I believe uh, once 160 or so plus tax so so anyway so just for the sake of it let's just say this one is 100 amp and this one is 100 amp hours okay so number one <coughs> which is the main main confusion here this 100 amp hours is 100 amp hours this 100 amp hour which uh, is 75 but let's say it's 100 okay it's not 100 it's actually 50 because you cannot drain it down to below they say 20 percent but even if you go 20 percent it just uh, it just doesn't doesn't add up okay no matter what I what I did with those for 100 I could not get even half of it out of it if you get half of it if you get if you get 50 amp hours out of 100 you are lucky okay because the voltage when you start drawing something when you start drawing the amps out the voltage just dips below usable um, limit pretty much and this one, there is just, this is just no comparison, okay? So I paid uh, for two of these to get 100 amp hours. Actually, you need two 100 amp hour batteries because you will get only 50 amp hours out of it. The 100, if you're gonna get 100, you're gonna kill it. It's gonna be dead, dead, dead. Okay? So you need two 100 amp hour batteries to get actually 100 out of them. So that means 200 amp hours. This one is 100, and you will comfortably get 100 amp hours out of it. Okay? It's between. 14.6 volts down to 10 volts it's a comfortable voltage this one I don't even remember anymore I believe like 13.6 down to 12.2 or something like that but again out of 100 amp hour battery you will get only 50 amp hour usable power out of 100 amp hour life for four you will get 100 amp hours usable power okay so that's one thing so pretty much 100 amp hour battery is only 50 and let us see so you need two of them you need 200 amp hours to be at the same leak as this one Okay, so there we are roughly around 320, 330 dollars for 100 amp hours. This one I got a set of 8, so I paid 543 dollars. It came from China, straight from the factory. So for a set of 4 would be 270. 280, 270, 
272. 272. So I paid 272 dollars, let's say 275, for 100 amp hours versus 320 or 330 in these. Okay, so that's already cheaper here. Now let's talk about the cycling here. These batteries, you can cycle them left and right, up and down. They don't really care. If you cycle them between 10 to 12 volts, and then you stop and you go down again, they don't really care. If you cycle them between 10 to 14.6, or between 12 to 14.6, or between 13 to 14.6, they don't care. Okay, I don't know how this can work on the solar power. The solar power is just up and down and up and down. This is this is just amazing. I I I, I don't know how people can use these lead acid batteries on solar power. They must be just frying them left and right. Okay? These batteries they need to be uh they need to be charged, they need to be uh uh, after you charge them, they need this and they need that. I don't. I don't even remember anymore. I, I completely forgot about these batteries. Okay, I would never go back to these. So that's that's another thing. The charging. This really doesn't care if you charge it. 90 amps. Then you go down 10 for the next five minutes. Then you go up. 150 for next uh, half an hour and then you go down to zero if there is a cloud or whatever this battery must go crazy if you charge it like that so anyway that, that, that's that's another point okay and uh, pretty much you dealing with lead acid here if you're gonna charge this battery more than 20 amps again it's gonna start boiling it's gonna it's gonna go crazy so I don't know how how you can use this on the solar system this is crazy this one if you if you go let's say if you have only one set of these okay 100 amps you can charge it with 50 amps Obviously, you're not going to have only one set. You're going to have four sets of these, maybe, 400 amps, or... Okay, I have actually 1,100 right now, and I so I have... Uh, I don't know how many, I, but anyway, I can, I can feed them easy, easy 300, 400 amps. If I have that uh, the power coming from the solar, I don't. I'm just uh, working on it, but... Uh, they will easily take it. These, uh, I can imagine. I can imagine they would probably boil, boil, boil up if you do it like that. So, and then discharging. Again, you have to be very careful with discharging these batteries. But that's not that pro much problem because you can control the discharge. You just cannot control the charge because if there is a three hours cloudy day and then there's a three hours sun and then three hours cloud again you want to get as much energy out of the sun for those three hours as you can and you want to store it and you want to push it into something you cannot push it into these in three hours you can push it into these in three hours okay so these are the main main differences let's say for dummies and uh, cycling these can be cycled between 2000 to f well these particulars can be cycled to 5000 times okay it really depends on the type of the battery you're gonna get but let's say these these cup cells they can be cycled up to 5000 times and they, they they will go down I believe to 80% at 5,000 okay I would like to see to cycle these 5,000 times uh, I don't think so 
So anyway, really just really simple basic calculation with the solar system charging up and down, up and down, you know, I, I, I can see the meter there. One minute I have a 90 amps and another minute I have a 5 or 10 amps coming in for 5 minutes and then another 10 minutes I have uh, 90 amps again when the sun will come out behind the clouds. These batteries can eat it. They can eat it easily. Okay? These, they, you just cannot, you just, you just cannot feed them that way. So, those are just like the basic, basic uh, references. I don't want to go into the detailed differences, but if this didn't change your mind, then I don't know what would. Okay? Next time.